With temperatures plummeting to 20 degrees this week. Um, you guys remember this, uh, this stewy, casserole soupy kind of thing that I was getting on the other day? Remember I said I could be back if this works out. This is how it started, remember? What's in the pot? Um, I've got spelt, uh, mushrooms, herbs, um, onions, garlic, a bit of chili. Well, let me just show you where that starting point is right now. So this has basically been two days of cooking. All right, we've got this, you know, the mushrooms and the spelt, uh, the onion, the garlic. Nothing was brown. Remember, I literally just poured water into it. Everything went in raw and we brought it to the to the simmer and we just kept skimming it with, uh, with those herbs and stuff in there. Now we've got to a stage where, where this is ready to... to uh, to add the last bits to the green veg, you know. So we've, we've got this this beautiful flavour that's developed um, over the last couple of days. Essentially, what we've made here is a lamb stock, like a broth, and mushrooms and all of that in there. And now we're going to add all the freshness to it. But essentially, you need to make sure that you eat this pretty soon after uh, it's it's then ready to cook. So I mean, like for instance, for tonight, you know, like, um, it's it's already what time? I don't know what time it is. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, but when it's ready and all the vegetables are tender, then serve it straight away. Otherwise, we lose all the goodness of the vegetables, and that's the that's the tricky thing as well. The big thing here for me is the uh, where's the name here? The just to the top of the lid. White pepper, <laughs> obviously the spoon, but the white pepper is a, is a big one here. So I'm going to show you how to how to finish this off. But just have a look here again, just very very quickly. How oh, delicious that looks. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do. So you're going to start removing okay just the little stalks okay there's a rosemary stalk in there okay if there's anything else let's just look there's a bit of thyme take that out that's why a bouquet garni is always good to use short for bouquet garnis all right so there we go there's another little khuichi there okay so that's all of them out now into this, we are going to add our white pepper, our vegetables, we'll season for the last time, and we're going to let it simmer for another probably 45 minutes or so. And then you are in for one nourishing, nourishing treat. So here we go. I'm going to put the pepper in now. Don't be shy with the pepper. You know, it's almost like there's, there's a, and you can just do it to taste, just keep, oops. Keep adding to taste. Oh, that meat's breaking up beautifully now. As you stir it, the meat just breaks. <coughs> Touch more salt. It's going to need more salt as you add the veggies as well. Okay, um, what are we doing? Veggies, so fresh peas. You can put any green veggie, it doesn't matter. You can put any veggie, you can put carrots in or whatever. But the green veggie is what we want now. We put a bit of fiber, keep ourselves healthy. Stir that through. Spinach. The spinach I'm just going to tear in, just with my hands. Just tear, just. And you can use the Swiss chard, you know, the, the coarser spinach as well. Nice. Fresh parsley. Tear that in. And what this is going to do, so obviously this, the stew, this broth thingy that we've got here, has got quite rich. So, just look at this. Look at this. My goodness. Okay. Boy. Boy's confused because he can't see what's going on in the pot. Okay, so just in there, just like that, all that green veg goes in. 
So now you've got a stew that's been cooking for two days. The veggies are going in nice and fresh. Okay. And all we're going to do here is we're just going to cook it until the veggies are done. And you can overcook them slightly. I mean, you know, it'd be ridiculous. You can overcook them. But until they're, and they're done, we'll season it for the last time. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll serve them in a bowl and we'll just finish it with some freshly grated, I think I need a drink, uh, freshly, freshly grated lemon zest, the skin of the lemon, just over the top, just the last, last minute, maybe it's a splash of olive oil, just beautiful, beautiful flavor, I can't wait, it's going to be dinner for the next week, <laughs> as you can probably see. Okay, chat you in a bit. Okay, we're back. We're about to serve it. I'll just show you that again. Quickly, oh, it's one last. Do that. Okay, put that over there. Just absolutely redonkulous. Oh, another little sh Spooky there. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I keep showing you because it just keeps looking so delicious. Okay, beautiful. The veggies are still green, so they're still going to be tasty. Okay, the white pepper, the development of the flavor of the white pepper over the last sort of a half an hour is absolutely incredible. And uh, and again, I'm not really I'm overly excited. Okay, and then we're just going to put. Okay. Mm. I like it. I just like the, the flavor of that olive oil with this, you know. Hey everybody. Uh, thanks for watching the watching the video. You might wonder what we are doing on YouTube and why have we, we got this channel. And as you see, um, all of this happened during lockdown. Uh, COVID-19 is where this, uh, this YouTube, channel, YouTube channel started. And, and one of the big things for me was to, uh, during this, this lockdown period, and especially being in the hospitality industry and owning a restaurant, was to be able to look after my team and my staff. And uh, basically, we, we, um, we have taken my book, Mile 8, and uh, all the sales and all the proceeds to the book are from the book and um, go to our, our staff fund which is which is pretty special so you can go to the marble uh, marble website and you can purchase your book there um, and i think that's just really where where we are with this channel as well i think whatever money is raised from this channel um, obviously we will uh, we need to cover for for production costs and and, uh, and so forth of the of the channel itself but uh, a majority of the proceeds will also then go to a fund and that fund is going to be ongoing for uh for yeah you know, it'll be ongoing after COVID and everything else because i think one of the biggest things that we realize is how vulnerable um, ourselves and our staff become in in situations like this so thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it <laughs> tune in for the next one cheers guys <laughs>